Okay, uh, in this video is a brief overview of Axiom Examine, which is the other part of Axiom. Like I said before, Axiom is split into two. There's Axiom Process and Axiom Examine. There's two ways you can get to uh, Axiom Examine. If you've been in Axiom Process and you've um, began to process your case and analyze the evidence, Axiom Examine will automatically load up where you can begin to review your results. The other method is if you just click on Axiom Examine, it will load up asking you uh, what case you wish to open. So in this example here, uh, there's a list of uh, previous cases. I'm going to select this one, click Open. And then you'll be presented with a screen as follows. And this is basically Axiom Examine. And uh, like I say, because it's only a brief, uh, short video, it'll be uh, a bit difficult to show you every feature. But essentially, on the left hand side here are your artifacts which were based on what you selected in Axiom Process. So if I click on the chat, artifact here it, it's then broke down into the sub artifacts so these are the specific chat applications one key point here is uh, these at the top which are your filters but I'll be doing another video on uh, filters and stack filtering but in this case as you can see there was three um, pieces of evidence uh, a USB stick, a hard drive and a Nexus 5 Android phone. So at the minute all the evidence here is from all three and you can pick and choose if you just want to see the evidence from the Nexus 5. You tick the Nexus 5, apply it and then you'll see that a filter is applied because this is yellow at the top. Just remove that. Like I say, I'll be doing another video on filters, so I don't want to uh, get too involved with filters at the minute. So you can quickly just browse around. Here we have three views. So at the minute it's the artifact view. We have a file system and registry view, which are new to Axiom. So if you click on file system, this will bring you into the uh, file system view again where you can navigate around the file system for each evidence. The registry, so if registry hives were identified and processed uh, as part of the um, Axiom process part, again you can uh, start having a look in the registry hives. So in this example the registry hives existed on the evidence HD1. So I go back to artifacts. Media categories, th this is for your categorizations for uh, child abuse investigations. Skin tone, key lists, so even though you could add a key list in uh, process section if there was another key list that you wish to add you can add that here you support text and keyword uh, or KWS files partial results profiles again I'll come on to that for a different video so these are your uh, tags and comments are your bookmarks you can either comment a feature or a apply a bookmark and you can add uh, as many bookmarks as you want in there. Time, it's a very powerful uh, time uh, filter here. Dates, again, you can pick and choose specific dates. Content type. And then artifacts, so this is where you can either pick the parent artifact to filter on or the sub artifact category. The other thing I want to show you as well is where the case is stored. So uh, my cases are saved here. So if you go to the 
case folder of this case which is obviously this one here the three text the, the three files that I want to bring to your attention are these the uh, this this and this it's these three here and these are the log files so if you run into any difficulties or want to find out what's happened if, if an error has occurred or something's not happened the, these are the three files that you can look at that will show you more information about the case and these are really useful tools as well if you send uh, these files to us so we can uh, have a look at what's gone wrong so remember it's a axiom examine case information and log further to that if axiom crashes and um, it brings up a fatal exception the uh, that there'll be a axiom crash log in the root of the C drive again that can be useful as well uh, so check the C drive and check the case folder for them log files <laughs>